So, hi. This is the second path of the black ballpoint pen mandala drawing. The link to the first one is in the description. And maybe somewhere else if I figure out how to do it. I think for me this piece has an important message. A message of trying to exist. Of trying to defy my own defiance of life. Of accepting it the way it is. The way it works. That's what I'm working towards here. On this paper. And in life. In general. I think it is very important to not defy reality. Acceptance has the potential to stop the internal conflict, to stop the pain. In fact, I know it does. For such a long time, I've been denying myself the things I want. I didn't even allow myself to admit deep down inside that I ever wanted anything. And I don't mean a lollipop or a piece of cake or something like that. I mean things that deep down you know you need. Things that your soul calls for you to do. And you know you should. That it would bring you success. Because the world needs you to do it. I didn't want to admit to myself that I wanted anything. I think I was too scared of failing. Because if you admit you want something so deeply, let yourself feel that yearning, but at the same time you don't believe you can do it, it will hurt. And it will hurt a lot. It will hurt because you will stop yourself. You will limit yourself. Your mind lives in a reality where you can't. And so you won't. <laughs> because you won't even try, let alone do your best. As someone once said, whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. But I think it can be alleviated with trusting in yourself, <laughs> recognizing your own worth and potential. It is a long process, but it is so worth it. This drawing was a process, both physically and mentally. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. This process of drawing, especially in silence, helps me think. It helps me to hear my own thoughts. But you know what makes it even better? 
the process of writing a script for these videos. Writing makes me see my own thoughts. It makes me collect them and understand myself better. And then, talking to you guys, recording my thoughts, and then hearing them out loud brings me more clarity and certainty in life. And that, in turn, makes me more confident in myself. My opinions and stances. Because I heard them, I know that this is what I believe. I am more sure of that. And I am not expecting a catastrophe every time I open my mouth anymore. It's so good to have your thoughts formulated. It frees up your mind. And you know what I realized? I finished. I did it. And I'm proud of that. I finished this, this project after so many unfinished ones. Back then, I thought, or I wanted myself to think that I was doing the most, but really, I wasn't. I was just feeling busy, having all the projects started at once and after about a month having nothing because I abandoned all of them that wasn't good it was a time of pretending to live of pretending to do what I wanted never really getting fully involved in anything, shying away, <laughs> running away from myself. I found that only projects that we actually finish take us somewhere forward whatever that place may be and I don't mean that starting a project doesn't have any personal worth and it doesn't make you grow in some way because it does It's just not as real, not as fulfilling, not as involved to not finish a project. It just makes me feel not alive, really, just filling my mind with more junk. Starting a project and then forgetting about it or telling yourself that maybe it's not worth it or maybe it's not good enough or 
maybe it's just not for you. And then instead just doing things that have absolutely no meaning for you. That was my life for a good couple of years. And now I'm starting to come out of that. I'm starting to accept new me, really. New habits. Just the truth about the world and about myself. So here I am and I'm going to make my mark starting with these videos.